This video will show how to set up and manage multiple user accounts from a given admin account directly on the PanelView Plus 7 HMI. The HMI model number is 2711P-T12W21D8S PanelView Plus 7 standard. The HMI allows only authorized operator after a successful login to make certain changes to the system. The video will also show how to keep track of and export all user activities and system alarms on the HMI out to CSV Excel files for management control system analysis or audit purposes. For instance, in this HMI application, we have 5200 is the username and also the password for the given admin account. System setup. Goldstream is the only group that has the permission to make changes to the step duration settings. Without logging in, the default user can only view the current step duration settings. For an operator to be able to make changes to this table, he or she must log in as a user belong to Coldstream Group. Now let's go to the maintenance screen to create a few user accounts and see how it works. To do it, first we need to log in as admin. As mentioned earlier, 5200 is the username and password for admin account. Nothing is here. Let's log in. Now let's take a look at this. This is the audit trail list. It is a day and time stamped record of all activities on the HMI. The current user is 5200. In the audit trail list, date in time, current user 5200, message, successful login of user 5200. Now admin access was granted with the two new buttons here. Now let's create the first user account. The username will be Andy and the password will be one, two, three, four. Add user. Name. Andy. Password. One, two, three, four. Confirm password. One, two, three, four. In it. Added user ND to user list, users, cancel. We can also see the message here in the audit trail list. Added user ND to user list, users. 
Now let's create the second user account. The username will be Bob and the password will be 5678. Add user name Bob B O B password five six seven eight and confirm password five six seven eight and add result added user bob to user list users cancel and in the audit trail list, we also see the message, date, time, current username, 5200, message, added user Bob to user list, users. Let's try logging in with the two new user accounts to see what will happen to the HMI. Andy, one, two, three, four. Cancel. Close. The current username is Andy. Successful login of user Andy on directory, but it doesn't show Andy here. And in system setup, this table is still locked because Andy doesn't belong to any group. Now let's try logging in with Bob account. B O B five six seven eight close the same thing. Current username Bob. Successful login of user Bob on directory, but Bob doesn't show up here. And the table is still locked. Now let's add Andy and Bob accounts to the CodeStream group to gain access to step duration settings. Again, first we need to log in with the admin account. 5200. 5200. Group membership. Select user or group. Andy, select, go stream, select, add to group, result, added user Andy to user group, go stream, we do it again for Bob, Bob, Select Factory Talk Group Go Stream Select Add to Group Result 
edit user bob to user group go stream cancel now let's log out and log back in with the account Andy one two three four in the current username Andy successful login of user Andy and Andy now show up here this table is also unlocked step one duration let's change it to 55 and Andy is required to provide a comment or reason for his action before the value he enters can be sent to the PUC. Andy first try accept 55. In the audit trail list, we see the new value 55 right to POC. It also show the original value and ND's common before the new value sent to the POC. The original value is 51 and ND's common is ND first try. We also need to notice that when the current user is ND or Bob, the two ones here go away because their accounts are not admin. They are not allowed to create new user accounts or manage the group membership. When ND is no longer with the company, the admin can simply remove his account from the group to avoid unauthorized action. When Andy is no longer with the company, the admin can simply remove his account from the group to avoid unauthorized changes to the system. Group membership select user or group ND go stream remove from group result remove user ND from user group go stream cancel If someone tries to log in with Andy account, Andy one two three four, they won't be able to do anything to the system settings. Now let's try to export the audit trail list and alarm history to the USB drive to see it on the computer. It's 140 right now. Export. Mm. 
Let's unplug the USB from the HDMI. Let's plug it into the computer. CSV folder. All the trail list. Alarm history. That would be it. Thank you for watching.